Talking on Loose Women this afternoon the chef detailed how he discovered that he was dyslexic at the age of 30. In fact it wasn't until he started working in TV and tried to read the auto cue that he knew he was different to other presenters. Working alongside Ruth Langsford at the beginning of his career he said, co-hosting with Ruth and I quickly figured out who was a good presenter and who wasn't. Seeing Ruth able to read the auto cue, James quickly realized that he was struggling and knew that his dyslexia would get in the way of him having a successful cooking career. James said, I really struggled with the auto cue. For me it's an absolute nightmare to read that. Speaking previously about his condition with fellow dyslexic Molly King he said that he had never even read an adult book due to his learning difficulties. There's been plenty of disasters, the chef added whilst discussing television blunders he has suffered over the years. Dementia, the mineral exceptionally low in 76% of people 15 years I've been doing Saturday morning so there are plenty. Usually, the ones that are out there, the ones that are on the internet really. And the fact him dyslexic, so I keep getting the words mixed up when I read, I don't know how you guys do it on television. I just completely mess it all up, but that's where it all goes terribly wrong when I get my words mixed up. Pfizer booster shot the third shot side effect that makes daily activities impossible, insight hypertension diet, the two-piece snack that can lower blood pressure and high cholesterol, tips Lorraine Kelly Health, the star told to get help after horrible condition, latest, appearing on cooking shows since 1996 the 49-year-old had to adapt his working style to his condition. Luckily he was able to receive training from a wonderful lady who taught him how to walk and talk at the same time. This allowed him to grow in confidence and triumph on shows such as Ready Steady Cook and Saturday Kitchen. Dyslexia is a common learning difficulty that affects both children and adults. The NHS states that it is estimated to affect one in every 10 people in the UK to some extent. Common difficulties that people with dyslexia will face include the following difficulty holding and following a list of auditory instructions listening and taking notes at the same time. Organizational problems of all kinds including time management difficulties with new words slash word finding slash pronunciation difficulty dealing with abbreviations. Takes longer to write, untidy or incoherent writing. Difficulties reading and extracting information from text, can take a long time to read and learn difficulty coping with new transport routes, new building layouts, unfamiliar paperwork. For children the condition can make school difficult so it is best to cooperate with their school or place of education so they can receive the assistance they need from a special need coordinator, Psycho. Techniques and support that may help your child include occasional one-to-one -one teaching or lessons in a small group with a specialist teacher phonics, a special learning technique that focuses on improving the ability to identify and process the smaller sounds that make up words technology like computers and speech recognition software that may make it easier for your child to read and write when they're a bit older. If your child continues to have problems despite extra support, you or the school may want to consider requesting a more in-depth assessment from a specialist dyslexia teacher or an educational psychologist. For adults there is also the availability of certain technologies such as word processors and electronic organizers which can be useful. For James, who has written various cookbooks whilst having the condition, he has overcome his difficulties by recording and speaking what he wants to say rather than typing or writing it out himself. Dyslexia is not related to a person's general intelligence and people of all different intellectual abilities can be affected. 
The exact cause of the condition remains unknown, but it is thought to run in families. Inheriting certain genes may affect how the brain develops during early life, thus leading to dyslexia. Although typically thought to be the same as autism, autism or autistic spectrum disorder is a developmental disorder where the brain processes sound and colors in a manner different from an average brain whereas dyslexia is a learning disorder that involves difficulty interpreting words, pronunciations, and spellings.